drivetrain. As you can see, it's pretty normal drivetrain, except for these chains, which just transfer the power from this wheel to this wheel. At the front, I've got a grippy wheel, so I can get over all the bumps. And at the back, I have an omni wheel. And I found this configuration really helps, so that my turns aren't as big, and as wide as an arc. And I've got my motors here, connected to the wheel, and I've got my gyro in the middle here. And as, as you can see, my arm is actually just a small tread connected to here. Let's flip it over. So, the whole arm is just on the tank tread, which just pulls it up and down. And I've got blocks at the back, which just hit against this, which just define the top and the bottom so that I don't break it. Um, it's connected we're here with a, a um, bar and just a support across. Yeah, and then the core is just, uh, in itself is just two bars with at the bottom just the core. And I've got these, um, these angles so that the hubs just slide in. And this, this, this is just so the hubs don't get out. Um, there you go. It can't actually lift itself up, but it's probably possible to l to make this higher, so I can stack on higher levels, and also so I can hang on the structure. But this is just what I've built so far.